everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Had a good run last time, we made it all the way to the cathedral with Cain, we beat Isaac, and now we've got a mystery to solve, we've got a single piece of a puzzle. So I was digging around the runs, and I think I'm going to run them again, but if we get Cain, oh well if we get Cain we can still go down to Shaw, let's see what we get. Okay, we get Eve, she's not the best character in the world. I mean, she starts with a dead bird, she's got a horror battle on. They're too good, they're too good items. Our problem is Eve's damage. Well, even Eve's damage, to me, it's okay. Like, it's... How could we explain... Oh, what, just watch out a moment. There is... Leapy spiders, and as we saw from the mom fight, leapy spiders can just go all the way across the arena. Okay, that's, that's bad, but dead bird's out. Dead bird's gonna help us deal with stuff. We do have a pill. So, let's take this pill first. That's a good pill. That's a really good pill in the rotation. But yeah, so, um, Eve's damage is really bad, but I don't think it's the worst. Like, everybody says Eve's damage is the worst, but to me, I think Samson is just outright the worst. And all of these complaints, all of this arguing, will go out the window because we just picked up the Fat Old Mushroom, which is a damage upgrade, and a HP upgrade as well, so... We're probably now doing, I don't know, Maggie damage, I guess. Maggie has a little bit more damage than Eve, I think Maggie is second worst, so I guess now we're doing Maggie damage. So we still need more, but our damage has been rectified somewhat. And if Raph would be inclined to die, we can pick up his two bombs. The secret room might be next to the item room, and with those two bombs, I'm willing to try. So, let's have a gamble, shall we? So we're gonna gamble. It paid off. Secret room. Seven cents. We are on the cusp of the shop, so if we get a key, we could go. But we didn't get a key. If we get the crate from the boss, we'll go to the shop. If not, then screw the shop. But let's fight our boss, which is the widow. The widow is an okay boss. She, um, it's not got that much HP to begin with, so it's the perfect boss to. Wow, you jumped really far. But yeah, the Widow is the perfect boss for Maggie to be fighting because it hasn't got that much HP, so we can deal with it relatively easy. How's it doing that mad jump when it jumps like vertically? I thought it still couldn't reach the top of the arena with the, the vertical jump. Maybe I'm just talking bullshit though. It doesn't matter, it's dead. We kill these. They're dead. We pick up this. We've got more than enough money to go to the shop on the next floor via pageant boy. So we'll pick all this up and hopefully we'll get two keys on the next floor. So we go down. Oh, for a second I thought we were going to experience some kind of glitch there. There is a boss trap room here, so I want to think about that. Um, yeah, let's just see. I was thinking if we could bomb our way in. We can't see the map. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's just explore. The rest of the floor, and then we'll we'll talk about that boss room, depending on the location of all the, the all the different things. So we need keys. Keys are our main our main consumable that we are desperate for. So we've got enough money to go to the shop. That didn't touch me. We've got enough money to go to the shop. We've got enough. Um, we need item room to improve Eve's general stats. Child's heart. I guess we'll pick up. Yeah, the keys. Please, keys. Child's heart was nice. It'll keep us alive. It'll give us hearts to play blood banks. But we need keys. And hopefully that champion can provide one of the two keys. Damn it. Eve, you are the, you are the worst. You're not the worst. Samson is by far the worst. A, a regular red heart, not good enough. Penny, not good enough. We need keys and we're already at the boss. There is an arcade. So we can just play the blood bank to get into that boss trap room. So maybe, in on this note, Child's Heart will be actually really helpful because we can try and get like some extra hearts. Well, no, we're just gonna get a single penny. We can try and get some extra hearts out of Pin, and then once we've seen if we get extra hearts out of Pin, we'll know that there's hearts to use for the boss trap room. I mean, we're still going to it, but at the same time, I would rather have hearts like on the floor. So I don't have to play the three-headed man and the slot machine to try and win hearts to get our health back before we go down to the next floor. So, let's just continue to kill Pin. 
and hopefully we get a deal with the devil with the pact or some high some high damage. We've not been hit, so we should be we should be okay for our deal with the devil. And one more barrage should finish Pin off. Wherever he's gonna show up. There we go. No HP up, but oh sorry, no deal with the devil. But we do get a 0.5 damage up. So that's fine by me. And now there is half a heart, and there is a full heart in the other room. Oh, damn it. Well, that's okay, that's okay, because now every blood bank is going to play out with the blood bag, and we can still get down to one full heart by doing this. So it was nice that it paid out first go, it's just a shame that it didn't pay out with the blood bag. But that's okay, because as we just said, every, every blood bank after this now has to pay out with the blood bag. So, in our boss trap room, tears up, you know what, I'll take it, Eve needs some extra tears, she needs some extra stats, it's a risk because we could kind of be killed in, in one barrage of monstros bullets if we get hit by a big bullet, but the extra fire rate is really helpful for a character like Eve, so that's, that's good, that's good. So, Monstro is nearly dead, we'll just bring him back over this way, and then we've got to fight Lion up, watch out for the big shots. They're the things that can kill us. And now we should just have to deal with Lyra Jr. Yeah, we just gotta deal with Lyra Jr. There is three of them that could easily that could easily box me in. But if we just get rid of one of them, then we'll be fine. I mean, we'll be fine anyway. But let's just try and get rid of them as fast as possible. Oh, oh. Get blocked in here. We'll just keep firing downwards. It's just like we're playing Space Invaders. We'll just keep firing downwards. And when they come up here, we'll fire to the left. And now there's only one left, so we're good to go. And we didn't get a key, that's unfortunate. So we are going to play the arcade a little while to try and earn some keys. If we lose money and don't get a chance to go to the shop, that's fine. But we really need to go to the item rooms as Eve. It's like kind of essential. Are we going to play the, the fortune teller? Um... I guess so, we could win like a better trinket than Charles Hart. Charles Hart's nice, but I'd rather have something that's more substantial. Kind of like, you know, Maggie's Faith or something. I even know Maggie's Faith is not unlocked. Hey! Two keys, never mind. So, our shop contains... The coin purse! We'll, we'll do that. There could be some good pills, we've got two of them. Bad trip, okay, well we know that's going to be a full health pill. And telepills, which teleport are just kind of where I want it to be. The item room, oh, okay, that's really good. That's a good item, GG. I mean, it's a scary item because it's explosives. But we need it for Golden God because we've never seen it before. And um, it's all of our damage woes, as you can see, are now completely out the window. We can find all of the secret rooms, we can find all the top secret rooms. We find cancer, which allows us to fire twice as fast. That's a better trinket than child heart. Let's find the secret room. And then we will we'll be good to leave. Um, are we going to continue to play the arcade? Like the fortune teller and stuff? Nah, I'm just going to blow everything up. Um, yep, just blow everything up. So that just contained half a heart. You know what, we need to pick these up. And our, wo our damage woes are gone. So now what are we looking for? So now that Eve's, Eve's uh, damage has been rectified, the one thing that makes her a little bit of a tricky character has now been rectified. So what are we looking for now with Eve? Not range. Okay, that's bad gas. Uh, yeah, we're not looking for range because range can actually screw you over with Ipecac. Like, range is good, but with Ipecac it can be sometimes bad if you've got like a lot of range. So we'll use another telepill just in case we get to the I am error room. We didn't, that's unfortunate. And we'll take the bad trip with us, because if we get into a dire situation, bad trip will become full health. Or if we see a demon judgment, we can use bad trip into full health to see if we can get a deal with the devil I am out of him. So that's a good floor, so now our only worry is health. We need HP upgrades and we need a lot of HP upgrades. You see like this, there's two dead, there's the other two dead, so that's why no need to worry about damage. Lust can Oh, Lust really scares the shit. Oh, Lust is terrifying. Yep, and that's the reason why Lust is terrifying. Dead bird. 
Oh god. Dead bird, it's all you! It's all you, dead bird! Okay, there we go. One, one well placed dipper cat managed to kill her. Tears down. Okay, that kind of sucks. But that's okay because we know all the pills in the rotation. We got a bomb, we got some of our health back. So, yeah, now you can see why Ipecac's kind of dangerous. If not used correctly, it can be absolute destruction. Three cents in this secret room. So, yeah, it can be kind of absolute destruction, but in saying that, we were fighting probably the hardest boss we could ever fight, which is lost. But all no! Shit. Never mind. So, I, uh, I was just uh, auto-firing there. That's unfortunate. However, it might be a blessing in disguise, because blowing up judgments increases your chances to deal with the devil, because you are a evil, evil monster that kills little children with no real reason. So, we're fighting a champion blow. It's a trickier version, because both eyes are already out on the, on the playing field. And I got hit again. Are we going to get a deal with the devil? No, I didn't think so. Well, that's okay, because we've got a spirit heart, we've got a HP upgrade. Our HP is looking good. And this is kind of the perfect setup to go to Isaac as well, because with, um, with Ipecac, we are firing slow, high damage shots. So that means Isaac won't fire as fast. And we are, we are not firing as fast, so Isaac won't fire as fast. This is kind of the main point. So, yeah. All we really need to do is kind of wander around, see if we can find a key for that. See if we can find a key for the item room. If not, it doesn't matter all too much. We'll continue to look for top secret rooms along the way. Um, there's a key there. That was a nice shot with Ipecac. It's actually made. Oh no, it's actually screwed us out again. That golden chest. Oh well, we found the shop. Baby Green might be in the shop. We have some extra money. Actually, we've got 15 cents. I didn't realize that. So if we get two keys, then the next four, or the, these two items on this floor are completely fine. But I need two keys, and we're vastly running out of rooms to make two keys happen. So, that's a problem. These spiders are also a little bit of a problem. I think the one other thing we need is like a brother Bobby or a sister Maggie to just deal with any fast-moving enemies like the spiders that I can't really shoot at. Ha! Ah, fuck you, greedheads! You hit me, but this is my this is my payback of ultimate destruction. All die in horrible explosions. No dead bird, it's my they're mine. It felt good. It felt so good. And we found our top secret room. Red chest. One spirit heart. Okay, that's good. Free spirit heart. And we've only got one key, so item room contains the shears. The shears are better than the um, than the IV bag. And while we killed our boss, the shears do nothing for us. That's that's fine on this floor. Is that a tarot card? What's this? Oh no, it's Isaac's floor. I was looking at the minimap, getting confused. So we'll head down to the next floor, and I imagine this is going to start turning out to be a quicker run, especially once we get down to the womb. I'd really like to get a compass, and then all of our all of our problems will be solved. There's an arcade, so we'll open that up for later. We haven't got any hearts on screen right now, but if we get some hearts, that blood bank is really nice, really tempting. Um, get rid of you, and then we'll deal with these flies. Really? You didn't die? Look at this guy! Oh, God. What the hell? Wait, is there a barrier there? I just keep shooting at the... There you go. Kind of crazy. Oh, Larry Jr., I'm so sorry. Oh, dodge Larry Jr., and he's got a bomb to the face. So, we're now up to full health, so the blood bank is ready to be. God damn it. I hate when bomb... I hate when there's rocks like right in front of the door. So, yeah, we've got full health, so we're ready to play the, the blood bank. If we get deals with the devil, do we really need to trade them away? Because. All damage upgrades, like the packs, are worthless for us now, because, like, Ipecac doesn't stack with regular... Ipecac doesn't stack with regular, like, damage upgrades, like the packs. Um, it might stack with the bomb upgrades, like Mr. Mega, but I'm unsure. 
So all we really need, if a deal with the devil appears, all we really need is just a flying effect. Like I'd happily, I'd happily pay for a spirit of the night or something just to keep us flying. But besides that, we don't actually need any deals with the devil. Um, let me just think. Is there anything else that's in the devil room which will be useful? Because we've already got poison shots, because Ipecac is kind of poison. This is, again, the worst room in the world to be fighting. To be fucking fighting in. So, we'll pop the shears. It's kind of a, it's kind of a waste that I had to pop the shears on just a regular room. But, we got to do it. If I can just, like... There we go, so we kill one. And the shears might be recharged from the boss, we don't know yet. That's the oh, really? The poop? It doesn't go over the poop. God damn it. I really, really hate these dudes. So, there is half a heart. We still don't have any keys, so I think it's going to be prudent in a moment to play the... Oh, we could have flown as the shears. We could have got that chest. It doesn't matter. But I think it will be prudent to play as the... Uh, or to play the arcade to get some keys in a moment. But we'll just continue onwards for a minute. Get our get our shears charged for the boss. Get these dudes dead, please. There we go. But yeah, we get a shears charged for the boss, and it charges in three rooms, which I actually didn't know. Um, then we'll. I don't think these dudes. Yeah, these dudes don't do what I wanted them to do. Because you can blow up the rocks, but then you have to do that. That's fine though. Blow up the rocks. Let him pop up. And then fire again. Blow up the rocks. Pop up. Fire again. There you go. So we found a mob trap room. If we get... We have got a half heart on... Or we have got a full heart on screen. We have found the top secret... Oh, we have found a really good top secret room. We'll keep that in mind. So. Let's... Play the blood bank once, and then we can pick up that full heart next to the shop. And with 18 cents, we'll also play these just in case we win some keys for the shop. No, oh, I'm really, I'm really glad dead birds out because I was just thinking for a second then, how am I going to kill those flies without the use of Ipecac? Because it'll kill a three-headed man. Which is a shame, which would be a shame, because I might want something out of the Ipecac Man. So, let's just get rid of that fire. That fire seems like a health hazard to me. One full heart, so we don't have to backtrack unless we do get some keys. And now we can see what's in the mob trap room and see if it's worth it. If it's a regular chest, it might have keys in it and we might want to go through with it. But, I don't know yet. Let's just see what's in there. Because there also could be items like Poison Torch, Skeleton Key. Golden chest that we can't open, that's also another good option. So we'll just move onwards to the boss. By which point she should be recharged. It's already half charged, so that's good. And we got one dude who is a slow one. Although he's still just fast enough to not get hit by my shots, which is kind of annoying. Tower card, the moon! Well, we've got like Ipecac, so we might as well just use it. Uh, secret room is over here. I want to get my pill back, so I will leave this way. There we go. We'll pick up our full health pill, just in case things get rough. And uh, we'll continue onwards, because do you remember, we still need the shears charged, so that's why I have to fight in these rooms. Because the shears is needed to be charged. And, like, these dudes are defending each other now, it's kind of annoying. Because when I get one dead, I have to like manage to hit them twice. So even if I hit this dude, oh, I'm oh, sorry, he died. Right, let's bring him all the way over here. Run away. Come on. I hate how if the cat arches over the dead bodies. We're going to be in this room for like the next 10 minutes. How's everybody doing? You all good? What's the weather like? We haven't done a daily weather report for England, have we? I've seen to have been doing that a lot recently. Like, okay, well, it's absolutely raining today. Today's actually not too bad in terms of actual rain or anything. 
It's really, it's really windy, but it's okay in terms of actual rain, rain and miserableness. The rain and miserableness seems to have subsided drastically, but we have been left with a very strong wind. So there you go, there's the daily weather report. We have found a cursed room, which, oh god, this room's gonna be fun. This room's gonna be fun to do. Especially with these people chasing me, I'm trapped! Okay, so things that chase us, maybe we're, maybe we're screwed with it, okay. Uh, we'll do it. Two spiders. That's, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. So, we either gotta get rid of the spider, or walk out. So we're down to half a heart. Oh, we're down to, sorry, one full heart. We have got our full health pill, but... We're going to pick up our regular health. I think we can still pull this out, and we can always play the Blood Bank last. So we'll blow this up, and get ourselves a f two free bombs, not that we really need bombs at this point. And we'll continue searching for something like that, which is the boss room, and then we'll take on the boss, because our shears are ready. There's our second key for the shop. We got Chub, but well, that's okay, because we can fly as well as... Um, getting the shears on him if he like comes into contact with the shears, which he did. And him standing still, like him charging is bad, but him standing still just causes him to be completely screwed. He gives us full heart, and we got his little silkworm buddy, which is now dead. We got a range upgrade, we got to deal with the devil. As I say, the only deal I would accept, like the packs, is useless to us. Sister Maggie would be good for crowd control, but it's not worth it to me. I'm going to ignore that deal with the devil. Because the only deal I want is flying. Because let, let's just look at it. Our health is still only four regular hearts. It's still not that good. Like, four regular hearts isn't really enough to carry us through to Isaac. That's if we take Isaac. You know, we could always we could always go down to um, Shoal, but I would rather go for Isaac with Ipecac, because we're doing high damage shots that don't hit all that often. So, we need a lot more health, and, ra and the range Oh, the lipstick was a range upgrade. I just picked it up without thinking. That sucks. That really sucks. I completely forgot about that. Damn it. Oh, uh, that's okay. That's fine. It's, it's alright. We can still... We can still pull this out. All we have to do is get some range downgrade pills or something. I don't know how we'll do that, but there you go. And you know that Sister Maggie where I was like, oh, I really need a familiar, but I didn't want to pay one heart. Well, now we've got a familiar to shoot for us. So we got little Steven who will shoot a homing shot. That kind of... That was bullshit. That kind of alleviates our crowd control. Let's go into the shop and see what's in the shop. And then we'll move down. So, our shop contains Super Greed. Well, fuck you, Super Greed. Because I've got a big fucking bomb that I can throw into your face. So, Super Greed is dead. He drops a chest. Don't know what that chest can contain. I guess a key for the next floor. Disembodied head is bouncing around. We get a pill. Is that balls of steel? I can't remember. No, the white pill's balls of steel. Bad gas, I don't do anything. So, we'll pick this up, and do we use it on the blood bank? Do we gamble? Let's gamble for a while, because we can go down to 15 cents. I need some keys for the next floor, I need all sorts of things. So, I'll gamble to get dead, or I'll play this to get dead bird out, just to help us with any flies that the three-headed man or the slot machine may spawn, and we can play this for 15 cents. Try and win some keys, try and win some hearts, and then we'll decide exactly what we're going to do. I think I might use the full health pill to try and win the blood bank. Let's just see what we get out of the three-headed man and out of the um, slot machine. There's some keys, I would like those keys. Nope. So, there goes our key situation. We've got a pill. What's the pill do? Telepills. That might teleport us to an IM error room. We'll leave that for now. We've got some more bombs we really need. We're down to 15 cents. So, let's play this. And play this again. What a horrible night for a curse. 
with full health. And then we've got three more cents to, to dip those. We've got three more cents to put into these. Well, we've got another cent as well. Give us more bombs, more bombs are worthless. And that exploded into one full heart, so we can play this two more times. And get three more cents for the three-headed man. And hopefully, the three-headed man will pay out with some... I don't know. Do we have keys? No, we didn't get the keys, we got the bombs. Or pay out with hearts. More hearts equals more plays on that blood bank. Nope, fuck you then. Alright, we've got another chance at the heart. The heart. Yes, two hearts. Okay, good, good, good. Now we can play this. You know what I've heard? Well, never mind. There we go. We got the blood bag. That's exactly what I wanted. You know what? I'll put two cents into you just in case you give me a chance against Skatole. Are you going to give me Skatole? No, you're going to give me two bombs. Are you going to give me Skatole? You're going to give me money. Which you paid out with, so we can do this forever, three-headed man. I'm happy to go just in case I can get keys as you are boasting right there. There you go, that solves our, our key problems on the next floor. Uh, if you give me more keys, that's fine. Give me more keys? No! Last play. You're offering hearts. Hearts don't do anything even if I win. So, sorry three-headed man, your time has come. I'll take this, I'll take this. Uh, remember to take that, remember to take that eternal heart. For a second there, I was about to leave without it. I was like, oh, I'll just use the telepill straight away, but if we went to the I Am Error room, that would be bad, there would be no way of getting the uh, getting the eternal heart. Do we want to open this golden chest? Yeah, why not? Oh, it contains ten bombs. That's useless to us. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I guess it's an item. It knocks it out of the item pool, which means it can't show up in a regular item room. So, that's okay. So, we'll deal with these. Can we say this isn't... Oh, this is, this is a terrible... This is a terrible... Mob trap room. Because we've got to deal with dudes that chase us down. Well, that was a nice attack. That killed them off. We've got these guys to deal with. Mainly the red one that follows us. He's going to be the biggest pain in the ass. Well, he's dead. Now we've just got that one to deal with. And he's dead. Pick up the ten bombs for no apparent reason other than to take it out of the iron pool. And we'll pick up our, our eternal heart. So our health is all, almost, not quite. We're going to have six health. But that's just not quite enough. Our health has almost been alleviated. Almost. So we'll now move down to the next floor. Now we'll have a drink of tea. Wow, we are on our road here. When we're watching the vignette. And see where we go. I can kind of imagine because we've got to deal with, the, deal with the devil. We're going down to shitty ass necropolis. Let's take a quick drink of tea while we're watching Isaac get in the face with a ball. No, just the depths. Well, oh my gosh, I'm shocked that you're actually being kind. <laughs> so, mob trap room, golden chest. I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with a golden chest just yet. I need to save my key for the. Oops. I need to save my key for the item room just in case we don't find any more keys. I'll use the, I'll use a golden, I'll use a key to open the golden chest if. We get a lot of keys, but right now I want a key for the shop, and then we'll talk about um, opening that golden chest. Shears are ready for the boss. We've got infestation. We create flies when we take damage. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. It's not the. It's not really the thing that's gonna gonna break the bank. I'll pick it up, but it's not really what I'm what I'm, what I'm hoping for. Uh, just check for all of the secret rooms, it doesn't seem there's one there. That was a little bit high, that's fine. Nothing there. This is a crappy room. Wait, I've just realised, he died when he touched me. And Dead Bird was on the other side of the arena. Does, um, does Ipecac convey poison touch as well? Not sure. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we have found a blood bank. Will it last? I don't know. Okay, it did last. Let's go in the curse room first, see what's in there. Two pills. One of them is teleport. Oh, I forgot to teleport, didn't I? Tears down. I don't want to tears down. So we'll teleport. 
Didn't do anything for us. We'll go back and get the other one as well, just in case. I mean, if we go if we go to I am error and miss the boss, then uh, so be it. Um, I should have checked in that room, in the secret room. That's okay. We've got some zombies to deal with, and then we'll go back and get all of our pills and sort all of our health issues out. Talk about that blood bank. It's all good. Zombie, you are being the most amazing dodger in the world. Okay, so let's look for some secret rooms. Nope, nothing here. By the looks of it. Check here. We found a secret room. It contains six cents. That would help in the shop if we had some keys to do it. And, uh, yeah, let's go back and pick up hearts, pick up stuff. Deal with that blood bank. So, kill these. Do we leave a pill in the... Yeah, we just left tears down in the pill. What's this then? Is this tears down? Yeah, it is tears down. What the hell would I want that? There was two tears down pills close together. That sucks. Uh, we'll check there. We haven't checked here by the looks of it. Yep, I guess we have. So, we'll move on and see if we can find our boss. I'd rather take on the boss first to see how much health we will drop it for the uh, the blood bank. So I will be going and playing that blood bank to try and earn a second blood bank to completely and utterly alleviate our health problems. Uh, these dudes aren't too bad. We've just got to stay out of the beams. And then one left. And we'll look for our secret room. Doesn't seem to be there. And doesn't seem to be there. Okay, it's fine. We are taking a little longer on these floors. Like, I know this seems like a, a long run because I'm checking for everything. But at the same time, once we found the... Um, now, we don't want to... We want to get to this chest. We want to put a regular bomb down. But once we get to the room, we won't be looking for, like, secret rooms or anything. Here, it's just looking for secret rooms, try and find keys, try and find all sorts of things, whereas when we get down to the womb, our only goal will be to find the bosses. So, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, neither of those seem to be the top secret room, so we'll go down, there is a judgement, I'll probably get him with regular bombs, just to be on the safe side. Really? not die. We're getting home we're back, we're getting pent in by flies, that was kind of, it's kind of, uh, Inescapable there. Uh. Now just dodge these. And we should be good to go. Come on. Alright, there we go. So, secret room. No, secret room. No. Move onwards. Wow, how long is this floor? We must be at the boss by now. There we go. Secret room. No, secret room. No, okay. Onwards. Oh, I'm not going to get a key for the shop. We might get a key out of judgment. Let's just go in and fight the boss. So we're fighting Monstro 2. Now, this is kind of a this is kind of a dodgy version of Monstro 2 because we can't really get him in his full-on laser state because he's just jumping all over. The I'm going to try and get him into his full-on laser state, but this seems like it's going to be very hard to get him into his full-on full laser state. So we have taken a crud ton of damage just trying to get into his laser stage. But you know what? It's okay. We got a speed upgrade. We'll take it. We're not gonna play that blood bank because there's a lot of, of a lot of bad stuff that can happen. If we get hearts out of judgment, we will. So we wanna put a bomb here and that should blow up two rocks. It did, so let's play judgment and see if he gives us a key. See if he gives us some hearts. Mainly what a compass. You give us a heart? Okay, that's that's giving us back to full health. Because I'm not comfortable on playing the blood bank unless I've got kind of full health. Book of Revelations is an interesting one. Um, we'll use it once. Because it could give us a load of spirit hearts. So, exactly what do we want to do here? Let's... Mm, gotta think about this. We wanna we wanna try and get a key, so we'll play the fortune or the slot machine twice at least. And then we'll blow it up. So it didn't give us anything. 
Didn't give us anything. Okay, that's fine. We'll blow it up. We'll try and get a key. We got a live bomb. And then we'll also check for our top secret room. So we'll go here. No top secret room. Over there. No top secret room. Alright, I don't know where it could be. Uh, Shears or Book of Revelations? Enemy damage or health? Push pin. Not what I want. Oh, dear, 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 dear. The situation, the conundrum. Which is more useful? Generating health or dealing damage to enemies quite fast while you could hang out over a rock? This is a tough call. This is a tough call. Well, there's our health back to full. So that was a very nice blood bank in its own right. Um. I might get that bomb out of there. Just out of curiosity, I can. That was a nice shot. Uh, oh. I know I'm just in an hour in for a moment, but it is a tough call that I have to think about. We've got six hearts. I wonder if we can bomb. Let me see if we can bomb our way into the shop. Maybe I missed the top secret room. Next to the shop. Um. No, I didn't. I am going to say the the sh shears are going to be more helpful in the situation. Yes. Commit to it. There you go. There's no way we can change our mind now. It was a really tough decision, I had to think about that, but it's okay. The shears will provide a whole crap ton more damage on tricky rooms. Um, just got to dodge these. Yeah, the shears will provide a whole lot more damage on tricky rooms. The flying will mean that we won't get hit on those rooms. Overall, I think it's going to save us health, whereas Booker's Revelations would just be giving us health that we're potentially just losing anyway due to the fact that we don't have the ability to fly on rooms. We have found a key so that means our item room is now on the table, our last item room of the game actually. Uh, that was kind of a tricky room with all those spikes. We have found our boss but we can't go to the boss just yet because it's mom. If we also find the telepills it might be cool to teleport out of the mom fight to see if we can get a deal with the devil. Uh, for flying, or a deal with the angel for flying, I'll accept dead dove, or anything of that nature. This room is okay, I don't know why I walked into that laser there. So, if we can, we'll just get rid of all these guys, and look for our item room. We'll also check for our top secret room. Because, as I say, once we get down to the womb, we're going to speed here. Um, oh god, this is a really tricky room. Is it all the, it's mainly the four fucking spikes. I don't know what that pill is. We have found another arcade, and there is a full red heart we can use on this blood bank. So we're going to do that, and we're going to gamble. Because gambling can give us more hearts and more keys. Keys equal shot. Oh, well, I need to put one extra cent in. We didn't get anything. I'm sure we'll find one cent before we get to the shop. That's even if we get a key. Um, I get... Oh, God, home and troll bomb. Man, the depths is actually being really hard. Like, necropolis hard. What are you doing, depths? You're not allowed to do that. It's against the rules. Stop cheating. So, that wasn't anywhere except for the arcade, which we may use. So, instead, we're going to go downwards and see if our item room is downwards. That was a terrible, that was a terrible mistake to do when you have a little cat. So there is a key, uh, well a key for a key is not worth it is it? We have found our item room. This is a tricky room because of all the guts going in all different directions. We'll fire over here. Oh god guts, please just stop rolling around. There we go, okay the one on the center, the one on the wall is dead. That was the one that was annoying me the most. That one's dead, and now these two are dead. Item room! Our final item room of the game contains poop. Real good. So, that's not helpful whatsoever. So now we're just looking for a key to go to the shop. Uh, we could get... 
yeah, you know what? Seems like a waste, but I think that we'll be able to get the shears recharged before we reach Mom. Because the necropolis is a big floor, so, or the depths is a big floor, so we'll easily be able to get the, the shears recharged before we fight Mom, like, really easily. So, this is this room down, that's just a bomb that I don't want anything to deal with. We found our last shop of the game. And in our final shop, well, we got a key anyway, is Greed, of course. Fuck you, Greed. I just fought Super Greed on the last floor. Why you gotta be in here ruining everybody's day, Greed, being a bitch? Piece of shit. So, we got a lot of money, we might as well throw that into the arcade. Our fight, probably our last arcade of the game, because we won't be playing the blood bank on later floors, just due to the fact that it costs us a whole heart. So, if we can win some extra hearts via the, um, via that, this I don't care for at all. So I will just blow that up. There's a heart there, not worth it. There's that guy, that's okay, he's dead, we got a half heart. The Empress is a card that can help us against a boss, which boss do we want to use it on? That's an interesting question. I'm not sure which boss I would prefer to use that on. And then we'll go over this way to deal with this dude. Uh, can't get into the mob trap room. I should have been checking for the secret room, really. But, at this point... Okay, you're around the, the edge of the arena. You need to be dealt with. And then... We stand here, we blow that guy up, we stand here, and this guy will come around. Our shears are ready for the mom boss fight. We'll check for a secret room. No secret room, there's a secret room there. Nope, okay, that's fine by me. Secret room, nope. So we'll just run back to the arcade while checking for secret rooms along the way. Top secret room, lucky toe. Cancer is better than the lucky toe because we're firing faster. Although I don't think that's really always a good thing. Um, the secret room, or regular secret room, could be here. Yes, it was. And we find 99 bombs. Okay, we never found 99 bombs before. We needed Pyro for Golden God. It's fine by me. We'll do that. And we will head up to the arcade, throw a bit of money into the arcade, and then just go fight Mom. Will we use the Empress on Mom? I don't know, but we'll get, either way, we're going to throw some, we'll also like, get that bird out just in case we get some flies. But we will throw a load of money into these guys to try and get some hearts, play the blood bank, win a blood bag, and then we'll go for it. No! Oh! I forgot to not kill them with the thing. Whoops, I should have let dead bird deal with that. Oh well, I guess we're just going totally solo on the uh, slot machine then. My own fault. The slot machine can pay out with the dollar, which I don't think we've had before, so we're now back at full health, so we're more than happy to throw hearts into that arcade machine, or blood bank, if we get any more. A golden key! Okay, that's pretty cool. So, there's nothing we can even open. I was just thinking, oh, we could open all of this stuff. We should go to the mob chat room just before we play all of this to make sure there's no golden chest or anything in the mob chat room. So, wow, we've got a lot of hearts to use. Whoa, okay, let's just keep going. Okay, the heart stint is over, but we've got two and a half hearts to put into this thing. So, we're gonna do it. Apparently, there's a way of, like, playing it a second time before it, like, clicks off. And there we go, there's the blood bag. So there is another full HP upgrade. It was worth it. We'll have a quick, and we're now super fast due to two blood bags. So maybe we're a little bit too fast. That does scare me slightly. But that's okay. So we're just going to have a quick run over to this. You know what? We've got an unlimited key. So let's open these because sometimes there's something under the locks. And let's just run over to the mob trap room to see if there is anything worthwhile in the mob trap room. Golden chest, why not? It did contain a full heart, that was probably not worth it. That's okay though, because the final mob trap room in the game isn't too hard. It's just a couple of Reapers which will probably be the hardest enemies to take out. I can't remember what's happening with Reapers. I know it's like not as hard as the Reapers though. Uh, so where's the Leaper leaping? Reapers leaping there. And then, oh shit. Maybe I was wrong, and why did I blow myself up when I fired to the left? That's absolute bullshit. Okay, that's one dead, though. 
That's the second one in its new state and dead. So we've just got a third one to deal with. There we go. Dead bird helped us out greatly there. And dead bird helped us out again. So that wasn't really worth it. And now we'll just go fight mom. And now we can speed run. Like, we don't need to check for secret rooms. We don't need to check for those other rooms. Didn't want to pick that up. Oh, yeah, actually. We do need to swap back out for the Empress for whoever we decide to use the Empress on. So now it turns into speedrun time. Uh, let's go over here and take on Mom and we'll see which version it is. If it's Red Mom, I'm going to be annoyed. So versus Mom. Oh, you motherfucker. going to be a long fight. A really long fight. Uh. Okay, we managed to hit the extremity twice. So that's good. As long as we can hit the extremity with the back and the shears, hits the leg, we'll be fine. Oh, oh. Well, we did take one damage. We did take two damage. That's okay. We can get that back in the wound. Why Red Mom? There we go. Oh my god, she drops an Eternal Heart. Holy shit. Okay, pick up our HP upgrade. Pick up our Eternal Heart. Head down to the next floor. So now our health problems from earlier... Oh god, please don't do this. Womb XL maybe then? Oh no, we were in... Yeah, Womb XL, Curse of the Labyrinth. That's normally what happens when you get the uh, pink glitch. Mm. Just add another drink of tea. And now we just have to find the boss room. Uh, we've only got one key, I don't want to do that. It's not worth it. But yeah, now it's simply find the boss, get out of there. And any hearts we get along the way. Why does that happen sometimes? Like when you throw a bomb, if you're right next to a wall, it just explodes on a wall. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Maybe if we get full health, if we get back up to full health, and Oh, well, there was no other point like that. Oh, okay, it's not looking good. We need some we need some hearts drastically. Like, child's heart, anything. Top secret room, please have, please be like the room with all the hearts. Pennies are not what I need right now. It's a red chest, two bombs. Oh, it's all going down the shitter. It's all going down the shitter because we don't have like any fucking familiars. No. It all became so well. Alright, focus! I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Focus now. We can still make this, we can still pull this out. All we need is hearts and we're still good. We got the shears. We'll go up. It's only a chub. I'm not scared of chub, especially slow moving chub. I'm not scared of the slow moving chub. That's okay, chub, I really need you to drop half a heart. Okay, you dropped half a heart. That's still not enough. We need more. We need so, so much more. That half a heart is helpful. Oh god, just. Keys are, are no longer uh, are no longer any kind of help to me, especially these fucking brains that are just being a dick right now. Okay, the brains are dead. I had to waste a key because I don't want to risk messing with that guy. We found the boss. I don't exactly know what I'm thinking about this boss. We can at least fight the first boss using the shears. And one full heart really puts me in a more comfortable position to fight this boss. It's only blast assist. I can hang out over a rock if I have to. Uh, if we just stay away from him and fire in when possible, we'll be okay. There we go. See, blast assist was easy-ish. What we got to do is shoot him once more. He'll split and shoot him again and he's dead. One more on that last assist. Alright, there we go. And hopefully last assist will drop like a heart, please. Wow, we didn't drop any hearts, you scumbag. Let's take on Mum's heart. We've got two spirit hearts. 
We've got Ipecac. Okay, so this is the thing. We've got Ipecac. Oh god, these fucking lasers are the worst. So now we've got Ipecac, we can just we can just hold the button. So we're okay in terms of killing one's heart. However, even if we go up the front, so what is what is the what is the method here? The razor has appeared. That's good. We are now going to explore the rest of the womb, which is dangerous, but at the same time, it's just a, a thing we have to do. We are kind of being forced into this position of having to explore the womb to just get some health. We can also lose health, that's obviously a big, a big thing. But if we don't find health, if we don't find some way of getting health, then it's, it's all for naught because there's no way we're beating Isaac or potentially even Shoal in the situation that we're in with this limited amount of health. We might be able to swing Shoal. Okay, see, we're, we're, we're making it back. We just gotta, we just gotta be careful. That golden chest, it, I gotta open in case it's got hearts in it. I need, we got one key back, so that's okay. But yeah, I just need all sorts of, that champion did work to die, and there goes one of our hearts, because Ipecac exploded on the fucking wall again. Why did, did you see that? Ipecac fired backwards! I just realized, how the hell does Ipecac fire backwards? I only noticed it a moment ago, but holy shit! That's bullshit! Fuck you, Ipecac! Sis, you're being a dick. So, okay, now we gotta- now I'm actually gonna watch Ipecac, because... I, I actually don't believe it fired backwards, that was ridiculous. How the hell does Ipecac fire backwards? Oh, fuck me. Well, this is, uh, this is actually a shears worthy room, I think, just in case. Yeah, you know what? The shears is doing a good job. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let the shears do all this. Because oh don't kill the blue one, the blue one could give us an attack fly. The shears is just going crazy, shears is just Yeah. Good on your shears. Just as long as you don't kill the blue one, then we're we're fine here. Oh, you're gonna kill the blue one. You're gonna kill the blue one, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Don't kill the blue, don't kill the blue one, please. Ah, I killed the blue one, son of a bitch. Alright, we can deal with that. Nope. You give us shoot the whoop! I'll pick shoot the whoop up, but shoot the whoop's not worth it. We have picked up another half heart. We have found the secret room, which contains three cents, nothing I want, if I didn't contain anything. This might be a long run. We might be here for a while, but we gotta, we gotta exclude, we gotta go for every possible out, or we're just not getting anywhere. So, we gotta be careful. All these should go off simultaneously. We did get another full heart. Ipecac fired backwards again, so we immediately lost two hearts. God fucking damn it, Ipecac. Okay. So, we're, we're, we're half, we're half health. We might be able to swing it, but I don't, I don't know. And you could be saying you could get health on the cathedral. That is true, I could get health on the cathedral or shoal, but they're both extremely harder than the womb. So I'd rather try and get health in the easy level, to pay off in the hard level hearts. Oh, it's just money, I can't do anything with money. What am I even looking for? I'm, I'm just thinking like, a blood bank, an arcade, something to like gamble for hearts. I would take any out, a judgement. We would take any kind of out right now. Because right now we're, we're we're not we're not going to do it. We've got a chance, but we're not got the best chance. The Empress would help in terms of like stats, but it's not it's not the it's not the outlook we need. If we got a sun card, even the sun card would be a, a great value to us. So we just gotta watch the Ipecac because apparently it can fire backwards. Is it if you run backwards fast enough it'll like go backwards? Oh no. Does little Steeman give it does little Steeman give it homing? Go hoof is not what we want. We've got some diglets. That was a nice shot on a lot of the diglets. Just be careful, just be careful. The 
Avoid the diglets. Gotta be careful with the diglets. Dig, 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 diglets. There we go. One more's dead. We are simplifying the equation bit by bit. That one tried to sneak me out. It fired backwards again. Holy shit, fucking Ipecac. How does it do that? Bisnap, please. I need a bit. I need a Bisnap moment on how the fuck Ipecac fires backwards. I'm not even gonna risk that. Someone, please explain the, the, the mechanics of Ipecac to me and why the fuck it fires backwards like a piece of shit. Because I don't believe for a second that that's supposed to go down that way. That is complete and total balls. Oh god. So, we're in just a position of absolute fucked. We tried to gain health, but if cat continuously was like, no, no. Then how is my if cat not killing me? We got one full heart, so we're still we're still in the position that we were like two minutes ago. Well, we just lost that heart. Of not having any health. I don't know what our plan is, like, because once we've explored the entirety of the womb. That's, that's about it. We need every enemy to drop a heart. We needed Charles Hart. Should we have taken Charles Hart? Fucking, I guess so. I guess Charles Hart was what we should have taken in the end. Oh, this room is so shit. Well, we got a key. It's not a heart. Heart's chest. Ah, oh, money's useless to me. Money's just completely useless to me. It's, it does nothing. We gotta find her. Oh god, well, cheers. You know what? I'm just gonna stand here. I'm not I'm not dealing with you today, Lust. But Lust, you drop hearts, please, Lust. If you love me, drop the hearts I I require so desperately. Drop poison touch. Okay, well, you know. Poison touch is still a very good item. Is it gonna save us? No, no. But Oh god, I don't know how I got out of that. So yeah, Poison Touch isn't going to save us in the slightest. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. There's a bomb. We've got one path in the womb left to take. And then that's it. If we could make just even the smallest bit of health on this final, this final path, I would be, I would be over the moon. Even Isaac's fort would have helped. I'm just thinking about all the trinkets that we passed up. That's a real big help. That'd actually give us a HP upgrade, but again, how much is a HP upgrade worth at this point when we've only got two and a half hearts? A full health pill would also be just amazing. Okay, now we're, now we're fucking up the shit. Up shit creek. We're up shit creek. I don't know what to do. do Dookie F! Dude! Show me the light, Dookie F! I need you! A spirit heart is, is okay, actually. Uh, just all, all the silkworms. Everything just is falling apart. It's got. Do you see it? Oh, oh no! Look! Look, twice, twice. Okay, so Ipecac is the reason for our downfall. It was a 58 minute run. Ipecac was the reason for our downfall. One one hit, we're dead. Like, that's, let's just put that in perspective. I have to... There we go. So, that's, that's the lesson for today. We tried, but even... You know what? I'm even going to edit that. I'm going to show you on that last room that when I fired forwards, Ipecac had some kind of broken mirror effect. Please, please, Icy Blade, anybody, Icy Blade, Biz Snap, commenter, please tell me why Ipecac fires backwards. That was bullshit. Like, oh my god, it's like, oh, I'm gonna fire to the right, but it's gonna bend back to the left. Broken mirror style. Let's look at, what, Blood Bank, no. HP upgrades, no. Mr. Mr. Mega? Wait, Mr. Mega? When did we pick up Mr. Mega? Oh no, that's Pyro, okay. Would Pyro cause broken mirror effect? Maybe little Steven, homie? I don't know, I don't know. I find, I call BS. M. McMillan, fix your game. 
fix that shit in Rebirth. I don't want to see broken. I don't want to see a broken mirror on my Ipecac. But we picked up. A, we picked up Ipecac, and you know, stats. We 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 unlocked the razor at least. We beat Mum's heart and unlocked the razor, but we didn't quite make it all the way with Eve. So that's another secret down. I would have liked to have got two secrets. Ipecac screwed us over. We are filling up our item sheet quite nicely though, so that's good. I think next time after that whole Ipecac shebang. Oh, now the now the things unlocked. Now part ten's unlocked. Even though Isaac was good today. So I guess when you unlock Blue Baby, then the final challenge becomes unlocked. Okay, I see that. Okay, I see. I feel you. So I guess in the next episode we might do a challenge run just to get away from that fucking goddamn Ipecac piece of shit. And we're about to go over an hour, so yep, so we don't kill Camtasia. Thank you all for watching. Ipecac kind of screwed us over. That was a shame, but I will see all of you in the next one.